my dear friends assalamu alaikum today i would like to discuss a very very amazing and easy method to solve the problems of momentum you can just see in the books how it is given so if you observe in these books here it is given uh, the traditional method by using vectors and you know that this type of approach may confuse you a little bit and most of the students are getting confused in the solving of problems like conservation of momentum but let us go a different approach and easy approach easy approach here so it's very simple that uh, instead of going momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision here uh, for example uh, there are two bodies which are flying perpendicularly let us take one bomb or one block which has been blasted into three pieces out of which if you observe one piece is moving in this direction and one piece is moving in the upward direction and the third piece is moving in some other direction okay so in such way in such cases what are you going to do here for example let us take there is a first block of mass 1 kg moving with the speed of 12 meters per second and the second block of mass 2 kg moving with a speed of 8 meters per second and he's asking us to find out the mass of the third block he has given the velocity of the third block how much is the velocity of the third block it is going to be 4 meters per second so instead of taking conservation of momentum formula a simple strategic formula will tell you here that is momentum of unknown body is equal to momentum of known bodies whose values are known to us so unknown means the third block whose mass is not known to us so mass into velocity of the unknown block is equal to as the two blocks are moving mutually perpendicular to each other you can just apply the Pythagoras theorem because you all know that momentum is a vector so you can just write uh, m1 v1 square that is nothing but 1 into 12 whole square plus 2 into 8 whole square and it is also given here uh, velocity of the third block what is the velocity of the third block it is given as 4 meters per second therefore m into 4 is equal to square root of 12 12 144 a2 is 66 sorry 256 and after the beginning 4 uh, you have to find out the mass here uh, that is nothing but 20 and uh, 4 okay so we got the mass of the third block as 5 kg so this is a very strategic and simple approach we can say thank you very much have a nice day